Hello everyone. Um, I hope that you're doing okay um, today with whatever you're doing. Um, do something fun today. Do something um, that you enjoy doing because that is just so um, important for, for everything, in every aspect of your life. Um, I am right now on a little walk. I actually love walking so much. It's like one of my favourite things. Um, and I've just got back from all of, the, I guess, the Christian festivals and camps and all the different things that happen in the summer. And I don't know whether if you've been to any or um, Big Church to Get Out or Tavis 10, I've just got back from. Because um, all these all these festivals are honestly amazing. Um, I encourage you to, get to go to them next year if you can, um, because they're honestly incredible. And um, I had this revelation a couple of years ago. Um, it's in Matthew 3, so if you have a Bible um, near it, go open it's Matthew 3 it's right at the end of Matthew 3 and um this is where Jesus is baptized and he's um baptized by John the Baptist and he goes down and as he comes up the heavens opened um, and God speaks to Jesus and he says this is this is my son who I'm well pleased with um and then a dove descends on him which symbolizes the Holy Spirit um and I really love this moment I and I and I see this moment as when we're at the camps, as when we are having a beautiful moment, um, we're surrounded by Christians, we feel challenged, we're getting filled with the Holy Spirit, we are, um, yeah, just hearing Jesus' voice and um, all these really fun things and being with Christians and, oh, it's just brilliant, I love it. Um, and you love worshiping, all of it, and the teaching, and all of it, it's just amazing, I love it. Um, and I love these moments because it's where we get to know Jesus and become more like him and all of that. Um, and that's how I see the baptismal moment of Jesus. And, and then Jesus, literally, the next paragraph, Matthew 4, um, he goes into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. Um, and he's tested by the devil. And um, the devil like, says, um, take, basically takes Old Testament scriptures out of context. Classic. Um, and... Um, Oh, sorry, I'm just crossing a road. Um, and he basically tests Jesus on basically saying, like, if you're the son of God, make this, th make these stones into bread. And all these, like, funny little things. And obviously Jesus is like, no. Um, and he, like, comes back, back at him with um, scripture and um, says, like, kind of who he is kind of thing. And I kind of see this moment, this testing, this wilderness is kind of when we leave those camps a little bit, where we kind of get get back into the normal life and get get back into the normal stuff. We all, we, we're all going to go to work, we're all going to go to college, we're all going to go to school, we're all going to be back in, I guess, a little bit of like normal life. And I just, and I just want all of us to be aware that we're gonna have days when we're gonna kind of have doubts. We're gonna, and doubting's not a bad thing because it shows you what, what you want to believe in. But you, it, we're gonna have moments where we're gonna process things, work things out and um, kind of, those days where it just feels a bit dry. Um, I feel a bit disconnected from Jesus and I want you to know that that's totally fine. Like faith is a journey, faith is up and down. Um, but I want, I want to say some things of like, when you're in those moments, read your Bible when you don't feel like it. Like, that's, re that's really, really important to just stay, stay in Jesus, like stay, stay in what he says about you, stay in his truth. And because when you have that, like it doesn't matter what happens because you're grounded. And I think staying, being in a Christian community, being, being part of a church that loves, you loves you for who you are um where you feel loved and seen i think that's so important in a church where you do, if you feel seen and loved in the church it doesn't matter how good or bad the preachers it doesn't matter the worship it doesn't matter because you feel seen and loved um and i just yeah that's so important to like get stuck into community and um just like just like have some moments in your day where you can be with Jesus. Don't rely on church. Don't rely on people to 
to, to make your you and Jesus' relationship great. Um, you know, Jesus is a lifestyle, so just have moments, maybe wake up 15 minutes before you would normally wake up and talk to Jesus, like, pray about your day, like, like he loves that and he wants to get to know you and have a relationship with you. Um, you know, Christianity is not religion, it's a faith, it's, it's a relationship, it's getting to know Jesus as a friend and not a judge or, um, I know that Jesus is kind and he's fair and he's just, um, so just come and get to know Jesus and he loves you and he sees you. Um, but know that just that when you're in this wilderness season, like just draw near, just just draw near to Jesus, and he will draw, and he will draw near to you. Um, but he loves you. I love you, and have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.